we are at the top of the hour. I wanted to welcome everybody to um, this week's members only hangout. Tom and I were just talking about um, his family and how things are going, and and actually his membership site, which is uh, very related to what we were just discussing. Um, but today we're going to talk about the power of Hangouts and how Hangouts can benefit and be productive and efficient for folks. Um, Tom, why don't you go ahead and give a little bit of introduction of yourself, who you are, and in what ways you've been using Hangouts uh, to um, to help you online. Okay, no problem. So I'm Tom from New Parenting Hangout. Um, what we've been doing is interviewing experts um, for selfish reasons as, as well as to, to benefit the community, but it's interviewing experts around uh, conception, pregnancy, birth, and beyond. Um, and we've been using Google Hangouts to connect with a, a global audience to be able to bring um, information so people can make informed decisions about all those topics. Uh, and it's been really key to uh, for us to learn, but it's really valuable for us to deliver this information to people um, so they can feel empowered throughout the process. Excellent. That's what we like to hear. That's great. And I love that it's like, so So you're learning a lot, but you're also, because you're doing it through Google Hangouts and because you're using this this tool of Google Hangout, you're also then able to have recordings of it and use it later and and kind of borrow authority from these other experts to assist you in establishing your own authority and making enhancing your credibility? Yes, 100%. And I've, I've, I've had people reach out to me uh, in Australia that I didn't know before this that are coming to me that want to partner up um, in the parenting field, um, which is really cool. Um, considering so that Kate and I aren't even parents yet, um, but we're, as I was saying to Sean, I'm not sure if that was in the uh, the live part, but we're 37 and a half weeks into the pregnancy at the moment, so it's not far off. But um, it's really exciting to be able to connect with people and be able to connect with a, an audience and to be able to deliver this content to people. Um, as we, we've found so much information. There's so much information available and... Um, some of the research that we've done is that families don't feel empowered. They sometimes feel a little bit railroaded into choices or the choices that they didn't have that they found out afterwards. So we're trying to um, increase education across the board in, in these topics. Which is great. It's an important topic. It's supposed to make life easier. It's something you're passionate about, all of which make your um, the effectiveness of a, a hangout and the use of the Hangout future more effective. If it's, some, if it's a topic you're interested in, if it's something you're passionate about, you have a vehicle for delivering it to other people, all of that can be beneficial. Um, Great. And even with, now, do you, I, I'm curious, because you, you've, um, next to possibly Alex and myself, you may have done as many, if not more, Hangouts. Um, if, if you didn't have a vehicle where you, like, you have your membership site, but if you didn't have your membership site, mm -hmm. what, would you be able to, still feel like you can contribute and give good information to folks using Hangouts, even if you didn't have a website or any other vehicle? Is it something that anybody can use effectively? I think that people can can use um, Hangouts to deliver any message in any niche. Um, being able to basically syndicate and add, add this to another product that you already have um, and to be able to develop a message for other products is also a big advantage, but connecting with friends, family, um, uh, anyone, so businesses, Google Plus, like I'm in love with it, like I, I must <laughs> admit it, and I'm addicted to learning the new stuff about, about that keeps on coming out with Google It's and Google Plus it's, uh, and the Hangouts. It's, it's really an important tool moving forward for everyone. Um, and this, I've got some really cool ideas coming up around Hangouts, um, which which will be interesting to see how they pan out. So why do you like Google so much? Um, I mean, I know you've you've been involved and done social media and things like that, but why if you why do you why are you such a fan of Google over say Facebook or Twitter or anything like that? Okay, Twitter's about really short conversations to start off with. So you can you can search for particular niches um, and you can engage in a conversation, but it's not face to face contact. And it's the same with with Facebook. Um, Facebook, you can connect with 
friends. It's more of a social get together um, over at Facebook, um, and you can connect with groups and everything around particular niches. Um, but it's still text or images or anything like that. Yes, you can share videos, but with Google Plus and Google Plus Hangouts, is you can have this face-to-face -face, um, engagement. You can see what the other person's doing. You can see how they're reacting. You can have more than um, more than I think you can have ten people in the bottom here. Sometimes fifteen, where you can interact with with people in the meantime and and really crowdsource and get a feel of what you're delivering if it's valuable to people. Excellent. I, I totally completely agree with you. I just wanted to get your opinion on it and get another person's thought. Um, Elena, I want to welcome you and say hello and see how you're doing. Thank you. I'm well. How are you? I am doing well as well. It's good to see you. We haven't seen you for a couple of weeks, so it's nice to have you here on the Hangout. My pleasure. Hi, gentlemen. Um, we're talking Hangouts today. We're talking about what Hangouts are. Are they beneficial? Why would somebody want to bother with Hangouts? I know you've, you've been an, a, a member of many of these members-only Hangouts, and you've kind of hung out. What's your, what's your take on Hangouts? What experience have you had? Um, where, what do you think about Hangouts and their thought, their, the power or the, the why you bother coming in with us on these Hangouts? I think it's still a pretty novel concept and many people, are, mo the majority of people are not familiar with them and they still do not understand the privacy, if, uh, uh, what, its features and wh where they're stored. So, so they, they tend to, by default, use other video conferencing methods such as Skype still or um, FaceTime or GoToMeeting. And I, I use everything Google. I love Google. I use Google Calendar and automatically when I have meetings with, with somebody, it, it sends them a Google Hangout option and it says video call. So uh, some of um, my clients have been confused and thought, oh, I thought we were going to hang out on Google. But um, and I I guess I, I guess I don't even know how to make that private. But uh, well, I I so. think I I think you bring up a, a few important things that I want to touch on. Um, and I love that you love Google. I do too. I use everything Google: Google Calendar, Google Mail, Google everything. All of my business emails run through my Google email. I just keep Google email open. Um, but what I think, and the reason, one of the things I love Hangouts is the the fact that it is fully integrated. Um, and even though it might cause a little confusion in like setting up a calendar with a client and things like that, and they may be thinking that they get to do a hangout. And there is that that can be until you get used to it, that can get a little tricky or confusion. But what I but but the fact that it can be so fully integrated is what I love about it. Like I don't need to have five different things open. I don't need to have a. I can just be logged into Google and I can manage all of the things I have to manage within that, and be able to do this kind of face to face conversations where. Um, in Skype, I don't get to get, I don't, I mean, I could get to see you maybe if, but not really, I mean, FaceTime's great for, sort of, but it's not something where you're going to do it with multiple people. Um, and for me, the biggest thing that I love about it is the, the integration within YouTube and the fact that um, it is instantaneously a video on YouTube, so people can be watching it on YouTube and you automatically have marketing. Um, and I'll, I mean, I've been on some Hangouts where maybe it shouldn't have been a live Hangout and it shouldn't have been something that people could see live on YouTube because um, we discussed some things that are either personal or just were inappropriate. Um, but it, but those, that, 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 there's all things you can do to manage and deal with that. But I think the power of the, that next step of marketing, the fact that you can't record Skype, or you can but not if you're on a Mac, or possibly now, I think they're working on that, but still, it's not the same. It doesn't automatically upload to YouTube. It doesn't automatically get connected to Google, your Google account, all those other things. Um, same thing with any of the other things you mentioned. None of them are fully integrated into your social media world. Um, where I could, I could, this could be playing live in Facebook right now. I could use the power of the power of Facebook by copying the URL and bad code and stick it into Facebook, and people could be watching this Hangout live within Facebook. I mean, all of that full integration with a few clicks of the button to me is what makes it so effective. Um, and I get the, the the leeriness of when it when and how to make it private, and that is a challenge, and that is one of the things that has to be thought about. 
I think it's important to also recognise that after something is, if you have done a, a broadcast which is recorded, that you can make that a private video afterwards. So um, I think that's an important step to know. But not every Hangout has to be publicly aired. You can have one-on-ones that are just private sessions or one-on-ten that are private sessions between everyone. So conversations with friends and family um, are quite good like that to connect yeah. with them. And there's ways to even set up your YouTube account so that you don't have to even go in afterwards. Every Hangout you do is considered an unlisted or private Hangout. And then you just go choose the ones you want to be public, and then you can share those publicly. So there's ways to set it up with your account that nothing is ever public unless you choose to have it public, which also takes care of some of those issues and concerns. And all that stuff is is important, and it's doable, and it's manageable. But I, to me, I'm, I'm willing to risk all of that. Like, I'm willing to do a little bit of that extra work within YouTube to change my settings and a few other things like going into my profile as soon as I start a hangout and deleting the post so people can't click on it. Those, a lot of simple little things that you can do in about a minute and a half after starting up your hangout that change the dynamic of it, but just to have the ability to make this an instantaneous YouTube video and have it out in the world of YouTube, and I mean... Google's the number one largest search engine. YouTube's the second largest, or I think Facebook now is the second largest, and YouTube is the third largest. Somewhere in there, those two always flip flop, and I don't know the exact order. But of the top, of the three biggest search engines in the world, two of them are YouTube and Google, and this one tool kind of gets you into that connection and into that communication, which I think just is why would you not want to do that? Is my personal opinion. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm glad you brought up some of the concerns because it's true, Elena. Those are things that people have to be aware of and be cognizant of and be careful about if it is something you want to look at. And I want to I want to applaud Elena. That's the other thing that can be done is that you can have the the lower third in here, where for all of us it's free marketing um, on this hangout. Anybody who's watching it now knows about the three websites that we're all talking about. Uh, Elena has her Dr. Pazzini. Um, Tom has his new parent and Hangout, and then I'm talking about Hangout Marketing Secrets, which I'll talk about in, in a couple minutes. Um, I wanted to first have the just an open conversation about Google Hangouts to get people's opinions and thoughts and feelings on it. Um, and I know you're both fairly experienced in this, and Elena, you especially were mentioning the fact that this is fairly new and novel to a lot of people. Um, I mean, both of you are are I mean, you're you're pretty well versed in it now, but I, I, I don't think either of you were doing anything in the world of Hangouts, what, more, three months ago, uh, three or four months ago, and I'm curious, like, what's, what, was, what was the learning curve to you guys um, when it came to doing Hangouts and learning Hangouts, and in both in the interacting and learning and in the other side of things? What's, what's your thought? So learning, learning for me was uh, really trying to see what functions it had available. Um, well, as soon as I found out about it, I could see the, the power of what was available to us. Um, so then there was limitations, and Google's changed a lot of things uh, when they did their update. So now you can do Hangouts on air, and you can access them via your phone, um, your smartphones. But uh, the learning curve has been steep, and they keep, they keep I keep on finding new things that are available um, in each part of it. And I think it's about finding what works best for you and using that com those components and the other add-ons that are available as well, like the apps, like the Hangout. Um, originally, the, the lower third was a lower third app, and that's now gone into the Hangout toolbox. So I think the, the learning curve has been good, and I, I think the improvements that they're making, they're, they're addressing people's issues as the privacy ones and stuff. They've, they've been addressing them and, and making it more user-friendly. Yeah, uh, so... so so there's there's basic average use of Hangouts, which is starting a Hangout, having a conversation, maybe sticking a lower third in, and then there's like what I always call next level aspects of any kind of product or technology, which is all of the extra cool bells, whistles, and tools, and like the fact that I can control who's seen, and I can, like as the moderator, there's lots of power I have that you guys don't have when it comes to the Hangout, and these other kind of things, but... Um, as a basic, basic, being able to function, make a video using Hangouts, talking to somebody else, inviting them in, what was that learning curve like? Because I know you, Tom, and I know you love all the next level stuff and you want to know all the tricks of everything, but let's say you just want to be able to turn a Hangout on and talk to somebody and record it and have it go on YouTube. How hard was that to learn? Uh, very easy. 
Um, like as soon as you un understood it, what was was going on in the background, you literally just click a few buttons. You you can be on. You click another button to start broadcast, and and you're off recording. Um, so even a techno novice can actually learn to do this if they know the right things to click, if they know the right steps to take, the right process. If you know how it works, it's very easy to make work for you. Is that kind of what you're saying? Correct. Correct. And it's become second nature. And I've seen that we've been in, involved in a challenge recently, um, and there's a lot of people with a lot of different skill levels, and everyone is able to do it now. Like, and that's within a very short period of time. Yeah. Excellent. How about you, Elena, for, for the learning curve for you with Hangouts? What was that experience like for you to kind of understand, get used to this technology and start being an active user of it? Well, certainly Google Plus doesn't change as fast as Facebook, so that's a plus. Mm -hmm. uh, I would like to be able to, uh, to do the Hangouts directly from my smartphone or iPad, but I think this is not a Google pro problem. It's just that in the U.S., it's still not a stable Internet connection as you move. Or if you travel, you sort of need to be stable in one place, whether it's a virtual office or an office or uh, wherever home you may be. But it's not that you can just walk and have a hangout, right? Because the internet connection will drop. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a cell phone signal issue, not a Google mm -hmm. av availability. Because you can start, you can create a hangout, you can start a hangout from your phone, you can manage a hangout from your phone, you can join a hangout from your phone, but you're right, it's, it's, it, our, our, our internet, our cell phone signal carrier, fee, like, field isn't as consistent throughout. There's still lots of little dead zones, or enough that you could lose the signal, and it, since it is a little heavy content-wise, it, it does take up a little bit. Um, but there are apps and things like that you can get for all your phones that does help with that, but you're right, it's, it's a carrier issue, so that is where... The, I agree where the big kind of challenge or problem can arise. There is a slight so, workaround for that. Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. I'm just going to say you can first. basically hide hide your uh, audio, uh, your vid, your visual layers, which will um, allow your audio only if that's something that you wanted to be able to use. Yeah, yeah. I mean, some of the things that people should know is whenever you're doing a hangout, it's better to be hardwired than wireless. It's better to um, and I, and you want to be on a good stable connection and all of these other things, but but what Tom's mentioning is if I if there's a way to kind of mute out my my camera so you wouldn't see me, you would just see my image, and that actually takes more less bandwidth, and so then you can have a stronger signal to at least communicate and connect to the Hangout. So that is a an effective workaround if you're having that connective connectivity issue. Um, so that so those are all that is a great little extra tidbit that can help with that. Um, but the fact that it is user friendly and across the you can really use it on any platform is beneficial. Um, so and how so, do you recommend we get more users to use it? They could be friends or clients. Um, part of it is is just practice and getting your name out there. Part of it is making more of your hangouts public so people are aware. Um, events is another piece that I think is really important to talk about. Uh, hoping that people might be online and available to join your hangout at the time that you set your hangout and you just you start a hangout, the odds of your friends being there online and being able to click yes I can join are less. But if you create what are called Google Events, which is a program within Google that lets you say, hey, on this day and this time, I'm going to be doing a hangout on this topic. If you want to join me, go ahead and say yes, I'll attend. And what's great about that is, it goes back to your comment about integration, Elena, is that when you do an event and someone says yes, it feeds automatically into their calendar. Um, it goes directly into their Google calendar, and they can actually choose to have it go into other calendars as well. And it sets the reminder for them, so it's not it blocks time out in their calendar for them to be there, just like you would do for any coaching client or anything else you're doing where they stick it in their calendar, and they know from 9 to 10 at this date, at this time, you guys are talking. It's the same thing with the Hangout, and they know to be expecting it and be logged in, and it, it will let them know what's going on. So uh, to me, hoping to just start a Hangout and hope some folks show up is less effective than having an event, announcing the event's going to happen, and then you, running the Hangout at the time of the event. 
that can actually, that's how I get more viewers on my Hangouts, is letting people know ahead of time so they can get it in their calendar, get it scheduled, and plan for it. I agree with that. Yeah, it's a well. great tip. Uh, just before this Hangout, I've been planning my, uh, how I actually set up all my events and my procedures before and after interviews that I'm doing. So, yeah. Quite yeah, events, yeah, events are a real must when it comes to really doing this intentionally. And the other side of it is it's also absolutely okay to just do silly, goofy hangouts and do them instantly and make them public and sit, hope, hope folks join. I mean, there's a whole aspect in Google where you can go, like, hangouts on air and you can see what hangouts are currently happening and you can just jump in on other people's public hangouts. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's also a great way... It's to me, that's like the second side of marketing, the, the, the sneaky side of the marketing that I love is when it comes to Hangouts and doing this kind of stuff, I love the ability to go and just join somebody else's Hangout that's in a topic somewhat relevant to whatever it is I do. And then in my lower third, I can have my URL relating to whichever business I'm representing in that Hangout that it's related to. I can contribute, I can come over as an authority or somebody with some interesting information, and they may go check out my site because I happen to share some really good knowledge and information with them. So it's one of those things that you don't necessarily always have to be the the person who starts or begins the Hangout for it to work for you. You can just participate in Hangouts on a regular basis and really build up your following and your information and your knowledge about that. Um, and, and having said that, I'm actually going to go to one of the people who has actually become quite the expert at using Hangouts to market themselves. Dr. Allen, would you like to introduce yourself and talk about your experience with Hangouts and how you use Hangouts? Um, I appreciate that. You know, I couldn't get into the website. I was locked out of the website and I tried getting in, getting in. I don't know if anyone's had that experience, but um, I'm happy to be here. I almost thought I was going to break my perfect attendance record at being at every hangout. I, I, was, I was trying every trick I knew under the sun, so I'm glad to be here. Um, I'm Dr. Allen, and I am uh, probably the original member. Um, not the original member jacket, but the original member. Anyway, um, I have really found that um, that Google Hangouts has been a great way for me to develop relationships with people and monetize that. And I've developed a number of people that I actually do marketing for now. And I use Google Hangouts as trainings. And I've even um, linked up people um, that I'm working with that are, are members, member marketingonline.com members with other people who are looking for their services. So it's really turned out to me to be a win-win all across the board, and it's generated revenue for me. And when it comes down to it, as much as I like socializing, which I, I do, and, and I like developing these relationships, when it comes down to it, um, Google Hangouts is a business-building tool, and when you take advantage of that, it, it's, it's really simple. I mean, it's so simple, it's almost hard to believe. Excellent. Thanks. Thanks for that. And I, I agree. It is. It if you if you are serious about it, it can very much be an effective business building tool. Um, give me an example of one of the clients and what what like that you work with that you've interacted with, Dr. Allen. Give me an example of what field that is, because we've got we've got Tom who is running a a membership site for new parents. Uh, Elena, who is a coach, is that the best? Is that a good way to summarize what the work that you do, Elena? A psychologist. Psychologist, perfect. So that's even better than coach. Great, that's a different branch. Um, Dr. Elm, and then um, Robert, you do a lot of speaking and you're also an author, correct? That is correct. And one of the ways I use Hangouts is in my mastermind groups as well. So it's become a really effective business building tool there. Excellent. And then so what? give me a couple examples of, of people you work with in your own business, Alan, in which ways you use it as well. And you've gone mute on us. That was my own fault. I apologize. Um, um, I use it to do training for physicians because I do a lot of marketing for physicians, number one. But one of the things I did, I look for people who have the largest number of people in their circles and see what they're doing. And I've actually sent um, direct links to those people after being on their hangouts. I'll give you an example of a, a gentleman. I think it's okay if I mention his name. His name is Ronnie Bincer and he's considered the Hangout Helper. He has 40,000 people inside of his circles, and he teaches people the inside track 
on um, on Hangouts, similar to Efat Kohn, who's another person that is, you know has this huge number of people in their circle. So I actually reached out to him, and we're or we're in negotiations of doing a joint venture um, using my VIP app to help him reach um, the people that are his followers. You know, one of the challenges of of doing Hangouts is you can have forty thousand people. You can, it sounds like someone's in the water behind me or something. I hear noises behind me. Oh. Um, um, you can have 40,000 people in your circles, but how many of those people are actually showing up to your Hangout events? And if you have a tool like our VIP app that allows you to get on the desktop and bring the Hangout to them, it changes the game. So we're talking about doing a, a, a some type of affiliate relationship, and he's bringing other people to the table that are interested in also building those kind of relationships. So that's just one example of doing that. And then I have a number of people that have downloaded the Marketing Online desktop app right from the Marketing Online website, and those people have contacted me, and they want to do an affiliate relationship. So it's just sort of snowballing. So it's in the medical chiropractic healthcare profession, and it's totally in the marketing profession that's totally on the outside. And literally, just one more point, and I'll just talk about this, is that I was contacted by an insurance company who's in the malpractice insurance, and they were looking for someone to help them with their social media. And I, through my relationship of developing a relationship through marketing online with Justin French, who we all know Justin, um, I've been actually negotiating between the insurance company and Justin to try to put them together, which is going to turn out to be a large contract possibly for his company, and at the same time provide a service for the insurance company, all as a result of this kind of connection. And that's and that's what I wanted. That was kind of the point I wanted to make, to make was that it doesn't necessarily matter what your business is, what what field you're in, what how what you deliver. I mean, you can be a brick and mortar store, and this stuff can benefit and help you. I'm working with a chiropractic office, and we're getting I'm getting them into doing hangouts with their practice members to help them just be able to educate and um, benefit their practice members outside of just when they come in for an entrainment. So it's it's that whole idea of consistently. It's a way of being able to really deliver to more people, no matter what field you're in. It, it, you had mentioned Dr. Allard affiliate marketing. It can be a great way to be able to get the word out about new products and new. You can do product reviews as hangouts with folks and take questions and discuss a product that's coming up that's really beneficial and use it as an example, um, which I'm going to do in two. In we have six minutes before I do this for the for the group that are here on the hangout. I have a surprise and a gift for all of you. Um, that I'm going to announce at 35 after. So in about seven minutes, I'm going to share something with you guys um, that is going to be a little gift for all of you that is exactly along the lines of affiliate marketing. How You were talking about how learning how to make um, use Hangouts effectively to, to really grow your business. Uh, you had mentioned Yifat Cohen as an expert in that. I've got all these folks. I have something I'm going to share with all of you guys that I want to announce, but I'll announce it in six minutes. So I wanted to open it up. Um, just to any other thoughts or ideas that people wanted to say briefly about just generally the concept of why Hangouts are the approach that you take right now. Um, I'll add one more thing if no one's speaking up, if you don't mind if I add one more thing because, is that okay? Go ahead. Yeah, terrific. One of the things that I don't think people realize is, and you made me think of it, Sean, when you were talking about you working with a chiropractic office, is don't think that you are tethered to your computer when you do Google Hangouts. And I talk about this a lot with the doctors that I work with, and that is I use a, um, a, a camera, the same one that Dan uses, SafCal uses, which is the Logitech C920. That allows you to mount that thing on a tripod and it has a long wire which you can extend. So you could do a lecture and a presentation while you're doing a live event. I always tell my doctors, if you're doing a live educational event in your office, not everyone can get there. What's more important, having them at your office or having them get the, ma the information, the message? So you literally could take your camera, detach it from your computer, do a live event and film it and put it right in Google Hangouts at the same time and have your audience at home getting it even though they couldn't make it as the convenience of their home, sitting there in their underwear, eating their dinner and listening to the information that you want them to get. It's so powerful. 
And I, I'm actually doing a presentation on this on Thursday for my local um, Toastmasters group on how Hangouts can actually be used to market Toastmasters and local chapters and the power of it and how simple and easy it's going to be. And I'm going to have Robert's help on that. He's offered to to be my 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 hangout buddy for that when I do it. But um, and so, but it, it's super simple. And you're right; it can be. You don't have like it's a way to deliver wisdom, information, and knowledge to folks in an effective way that is basically there permanently, even if it's not public, because we talked about the idea of listed, unlisted, public, not public. But even though it's unlisted, it doesn't mean that I can't stick it in the members area of my site or something along those lines and have this great information, this great knowledge, this great wisdom always available, and I only have to do it once, and now it exists out there in perpetuity, either privately for the only people I choose or publicly as PR for myself. If I'm doing a great lecture on the benefits of SRI to my chiropractic folks, I can have that great information and talk about how SRI is beneficial and that's out there permanently forever for folks to know about and see. It's advertising for my business, it's showing me as an expert, it's establishing my credibility, it's marketing because, and Rick knows this very well, the ways that you can you can um, set up your YouTube videos with the descriptions and the tags and everything to make sure that you show up high in a Google search, high up in YouTube, which means also high in a Google search because Google loves YouTube and shows its videos higher. All if you know all of these different pieces and know how to do it correctly and accurately and in the right ways, all of that makes your ability to take a hangout and multi-purpose it as educational material, marketing material, continuing education for people that have paid access to it, so you maybe stick it in a membership area. All of those pieces, it's all done by having done one thing one time through a Hangout and having it recorded. So it is important to be doing that. So I want to say quickly hi to Vic. Vic, how are you, man? You are muted, sir. Check the mute in the... There we go. Hey! There you are, my friend. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to put this little bar across the middle of my thing. It's like, okay. <laughs> Hangout toolbox, my friend. Yeah, Vic says, Vic is, this is what your second or, th this is only like your second or third Hangout, isn't it, Vic? This is, you're pretty new to this. I, I'm new to Google Hangouts. I'm, I'm, I always use Adobe Connect. And so like, I'm like live on Adobe Connect all day long. Um, so this is a new technology for me, but this is really warm and friendly and social. Whereas Adobe is more like a classroom. You feel like you're working and you're screen sharing and I can help a client remotely fix everything from spyware to a virus and all kinds of stuff. So it's got a different purpose, but this is just fun, you know? I just love it. I totally agree. The thing you're asking about, by the way, Vic, is over in the left side of the Hangout, there's an area called the Hangout Toolbox and you're going to go set up um, your... your um, your lower third, and Tom just sent you a link to a YouTube video he created that shows you how to set up a lower third. So you can kind of check that out. Um, <laughs> so we've been talking about Hangouts and how Hangouts work. And, and t Tom, you made that video in a Hangout, or is that just a regular video? Um, I, it was a combination of both, actually. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so you can even use this to make two training, training videos or tutorials and things like that as well. Um, but it's a lower third, and it's a great way to kind of PR and market yourself, which can be quite effective. Um, so I know I promised you guys a surprise gift at um, 35 after. It's now 34 and a half after. So I'm going to go to a page that you guys all need to know, and I'm going to copy that. I'm going to put it in the chat, but I'm also going to screen share this with you guys. Oh, wait, wait. Before I do that, I just want to, to acknowledge... Vic has put up his lower third. Oh, he had it up. Dude, I was just going to give you props, and you took it down on me. Uh, and now you're, you're muted on me again. But So he's, he's working on his lower third. As soon as it shows up, I'll, show, I'll share it with you guys. Um, but that was a great way for me to kind of keep talking to the 35-minute mark. So thanks, Vic. That was good. So there it is. There is uh, Vic's lower third with his marketing on it. And so now everybody knows about his site as well. This is one of the powers of it. It's a, a perk, a benefit of doing these Hangouts. So good job, Vic. Quickly learned. Nicely done. This is the Hangout Marketing Secrets page. Um, and, uh, and what you're going to get access to is Hangout Marketing Secrets. Now, this is the Hangout Marketing Secrets actual um, sales page and everything else. So what you get is you're going to get information about the actual course. And you'll see the courses in here and all of the information. 
And the course is $197. It's $197 to take the course. But because you guys are uh, marketing online members, because you guys showed up on today's Hangout, you guys are all going to get access to the course for free as VIP members. So this is, this is a gift from Alex to all you guys because you showed up. When you show up, you get stuff. That's how it works. I love Alex. Thank you. Yeah. So, Thank so this is, and I want to just show you kind of, there's, this is the sales page, and I just want to go through this really quick to kind of help you guys understand some of the stuff and some of the people you're going to be learning from. So Sarah Hill has over 2.5 million people with an M in her Google Plus circles. Two and a half million people sir, have circled Sarah Hill. Do you think she knows a little bit about Google, Google Plus, and how to make it work? Yes. We've got Marvin, who's also a psychologist, and he's got, he, he, aver he gets over 500 comments on, and hundreds of other plus ones on shares that he makes. So he knows how to get people to be active and involved within it. Um, you had mentioned Dr. Alan Yifat. She's going to be one of the experts. Of course, Alex is going to be one of the experts. Uh, we've got other folks who are going to be talking about the marketing. Dan knows videos, so he's going to talk about the, how to really use YouTube and enhance your YouTube stuff. Joe actually has a IPO on his Hangout show. He's doing an IPO, an initial public offering, on a show he's created around his Hangouts. If you don't think you can monetize Hangouts, what do you think an IPO is other than monetization? So these are the folks who are going to teach you all of the ways that Hangouts are both. There's even some good testimonials, like stunningly handsome men like that. Um, and what I want to show you also is at the bottom of this page, you'll see there's 55 questions that are going to get answered in the Hangout. So if you're not sure about Google Hangouts, all of that is in here. So make sure you go to VIP. Make sure you guys get registered. That's one of the things I want you guys to do. Now, there's one other thing, and, and, and that's just the information in the course. There's an assessment that's going to help you be sure that you're ready for Google Hangouts. There's going to be a preview Hangout that's going to show, like, help you get ready for the actual course. There's going to be bonuses that you get, which are a bunch of other trainings that are already ready to go. And there's even a glossary of terms that you need to know in order to be effective and function well in the world of Google Hangouts. So, and and I'm, I just noticed I'm seeing all of you guys signing in, so that's what I just got noticed on my email. Like, all these folks are like, like new VIP members. Of course, it's you guys. So good job on that. Well <laughs> done in that. You guys took action very, very quickly. I love it. Um, so that is awesome. So, so that is the first gift I want to give you guys. So um, that is, and the only thing that we're going to ask in return is we want honest feedback. As users and professionals, look at that page and let us know what you think. If there's things that work, that don't work, um, and look at it from the, pr the perspective of, like, professional Internet folks, not necessarily just your opinion that I don't like this color, but, like, what you think is really working, what isn't, what makes you want to be engaged, what doesn't, what f just the what is and isn't working what? well is for you as somebody interacting with the page. So that's the first thing. So that's our first gift to you is VIP access to Hangout Marketing Secrets. So is that good or great? Great. Great. Can you all tell I've been trained by heart when it comes to stage presentations? <laughs> I didn't put my arm up, sorry. Is that good or great? Thank you. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, clearly, I've, I've... And that was only about 85%. I didn't get the elbow all the way straight up, but you can't see the hand, so it didn't matter. Um, can you... So, yeah, clearly I've had my training. So that is first gift to you guys. That's going to happen so you guys are aware. Now, do you guys think a course like Hangout Marketing Secrets is something other people might be interested in? Yes. Yes. Do you think you might know at least three folks who would want to also take this course? Yes. yes. How much do you think this course, you know what it's cost, but I want to know how much do you think to other people this course would be worth? Do you think people would pay, say, $500 to learn all this information and knowledge and get to really be able to use this, this venue, this Google Hangout concept and venue, to their benefit and to their power. Can I ask a question before I answer? You can ask a question, absolutely. Is this information that is not found easily on the internet? 
This Humble is the up. ex. This yes, because these are the folks who have done it and done it behind the scenes properly. Like Yifat has been invited to come to Google to talk about how to effectively use Hangouts for business. So it's not stuff that is just like in Google FAQs. <laughs> This is not a, a repurposing of the Google FAQ. This is real-life people who are real-life using this. Nowhere in the Google FAQs are you going to find someone who's going to tell you how to do an IPO using Google, like based around a Google Hangout thing. Um, so these are, these are actual people who are using this, this technology to their effective. So, um, so in that case, I think the price is accurate. So $200, or do you think it might be people would pay even more? Uh, I was saying you should do 197 and offer it to the first hunter for 97. Oh, this is a beta launch. We're not going to do none of that. Like take the one off the front thing. We don't need to worry about that. The price <laughs> is 197. I'm just curious if you guys. I'm just asking for an honest opinion. Do you think it's worth even more than 197? Well, I think if you take a look at what's really available on the internet and what people are charging for things and the ability to monetize it, I always look at. I always look at what is the ratio of what it means to you if you develop a client. So I always say, how many clients is the program worth? So let's use a doctor for an example. If a doctor gets one patient and that patient is worth, let's say, $2,000 a year because it's a good patient in terms of examination, in terms of whatever they spend in the office, we'll even use the chiropractic model then to me, a good rule of thumb is if you can invest one patient to be able to break even and be, at, be, be sort of at neutral, then that's, the cost, that's what the cost of admission should be. So that ultimately, depending on who's taking it, the number might change, but having a program that's worth $2,000 to somebody whose average client is worth $2,000, to me is a very fair price. If the average person who's going to be taking Google Hangouts, their average customer is going to be a $995 client, well then the program would be worth $995. So my feeling is that $1,000 would probably be a good place to start and somewhere around $2,000 between that 1000 mark and the 2000 mark I think would be a really fair amount. Okay. Other people if thoughts? If you're using it for business. If you're using it for business. Other thoughts from other folks on, on a possible price range, what you guys might think? I agree with Dr. Allen. For business, it's definitely uh, there's definitely value for business, um, and it, it depends on your market. Um, and like he was saying, the value of your customer. Okay. So, um, so, so the reason I asked that question is, it's it's 197 for this this beta launch that we're doing, and this is this is just a beta launch. We're first run, just playing with it right now. Um, the official big full you know global launch will be I think in October or something like that. But this is the beta launch, and you guys, because you're members and because you showed up, you guys get to access to it um, early on. So so right now it's priced at 200, and and the reason I asked what you think you might your your people you know what it might be a value to is for two reasons. One, it gives us us uh, our take on what it might cost. Like what if 200 isn't worth it? Like should we be pricing it higher? Are we underpricing this product? So that gives us some feedback on that, which is always important to get. You always want to be getting feedback on where your pricing is. By the way, very cute, Elena. Um, I saw that. I didn't want you to think I missed that. Hey, I hey Sean. That. Sean, can I ask a question? Sure. Yeah, so let me ask you, is it contain videos? Does it contain um, like an ebook? What's what's in the product? Physically? You're gonna get live hangout trainings. So they're gonna be videos that are recorded. You'll be able to go back in case you can't be there live. The video recordings will be there because that's what hangouts do for you. There's also written like guides that go along with that. So as as something's being taught, you'll actually have some stuff that you can download and have with you as well to help you implement it. So all of that is going to be there. It's not just a video product. It's not just a digital paper product. It's a multiple products put together, like delivering it because we get some people are tactile and want to hold the guide in their hand. Some people are visual. Some people are auditory. So all those pieces are going to be there. Okay, and how many hours of video would you say it is? It's going to be... There's going to be six days that there are going to be things happening, and there will probably be two videos a day. One will be a um, kind of a training, and then one will be an implementation. So you're looking at about 12 hours over the month. 
um, of Wait. June in order to do this, but it's also one that you can do at your own pace, at your own time, because you can always go back to the recordings. It's not like you have to be live for every Hangout. So that we you, have oh, so, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, so what, what I hear you saying is it's actually, you're buying a, a access to participate in the creation of this product. To some extent, you're going to be you're you're basically getting access to the, um, you're getting access to to the the initial first version of the product. So you'll be able to give feedback and help us improve the product. So yes, that is a part of it. Um, the product I, I know similar products that did launches like that that are in the thousand dollar range. Okay. Um, but uh, the one I'm comparing it to has 26 videos between two and three hours each as a final resulting product for a thousand bucks. So would you have about that much, a little bit more, a little bit less? How many, video, how many videos? 26. This will probably be just under that, but close. Yeah, so I think you should go for a grand. Okay, that's good feedback. That's very yeah. good feedback. I, I think you should go for a grand. Cool. I, I want to show one thing I, that, that Elena asked about transcripts, so I'm going to do a little screen share um, in why this is beneficial and why we, we don't just, tra there's transcripts and then there's transcripts. So in the step three, which is the bonus pre-training pieces that you're going to get, you're going to notice that there's these little transcript, these little download things, and what it is, is it's a transcript kind of on crack. It's the transcript of these Hangouts, but it's not just a transcript. It actually lets you see who said what. So like this was Alex's overall presentation. And as we get a little further down, you'll start to see the give and take between Yifat and Alex and Yifat and Alex and Yifat and Alex. And so like it's not just your everyday warm, fuzzy transcript. It's it's you know exactly who the person is. Like the here's Alex Yifat because you got tired of seeing the images. We thought we'd stick some names in there too. Um, but this is and because they were the answers were short enough that we couldn't stick a whole image in there. Um, but this is how that works. So this, when you say transcripts, the pre-videos all have transcripts. Even Justin jumps in here and he gets a little comment in here in his own image. Um, and then Alex and Yifat and Justin and Alex and Justin. And so this is when we do transcripts, we do serious transcripts. And so you're not going to get instantaneous transcripts, but there will be adjustments, and you will be able to see those transcripts eventually. So um, how's that sound for you, Elena? Excellent. Did that just because up the I, value of because this? Because I'm visual, I also need to. Yep. The words help me um, remember it. I get that. So, do, so is the, does this up the value as well to everybody now, seeing that that's part of what people see and get? Yes. Okay. First of all, I want to say hello to Sharon. So, hi, Sharon. Welcome. Glad you're here. You're muted, but we appreciate the waving. It's always good to see you. We're glad you're here. Um, so. So that's a piece of it. So, so now you guys have seen kind of what's in it. You've heard about what's in it. It sounds like $1,000 is actually what you think this should be priced at. You think the 200 is kind of a steal. Like that's really quite the bargain, yes? Is this something that you feel you could tell other people about and convince them they're getting it at a bargain at 200 bucks versus what could be or should be at least 1000 Yeah. Yeah, I, Would you I, I like think us so. To maybe give you money if you talk other people into paying two hundred dollars for this product. <laughs> okay, Robert shaking his head, which we just had. No, a... I'm gonna... don't give me money. Yes, we're going to talk about that. Fame. Later. We we rather have fame Wait. than money. I need to I need to go inside and process. <laughs> yes, come on, Robert, join the club here. Take money from us. Um, it's because you guys know, as you can see by my lower third down here somewhere. Maybe or over here. I don't know which side it is. Um, you guys can see the that I'm the affiliate manager for this program, and I want to make sure that we get people registered. But I also want to make sure you get paid. And so what we're offering is we're going to be doing a affiliate program for this, and and it's not officially out yet because I'm still building the affiliate center um, and doing all the behind the scenes things that need to happen for that. But if you go to this URL. And I'm going to put it in the chat, and then I'll announce what it is to everybody. I'll do a screen share so everybody can see it as well. But if you go to marketingonline.com front slash HMS affiliate, Hangout Marketing Secrets affiliate, HMS affiliate, you can get yourself registered as an affiliate to start. So that's where we're at. So that's the stuff that you guys are going to see. Um, what I want you guys to know, and this don't bother with the, the commission breakdown, it's not quite accurate. 
But because if we're doing a two hundred dollar product, we can't give you giant amounts of commission. But we can give you. Do you think twenty five percent commission on a product like this is worth it? Would you guys be happy with getting fifty bucks if you refer somebody to pay two hundred bucks? Does that seem like a fair um, motivation for you guys to share this product with other folks? Yes. I'm lots of head shaking. Fifty bucks for a two hundred dollar product is that a pretty? I, 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 a lot of you guys know affiliate stuff. Twenty five percent. Affiliate um, kickback is pretty decent. That's pretty high for some products, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Um, and this is different than the marketing online affiliate program. It's own. It's its own independent product. Just so you're aware. To answer your question, Sharon. Um, so, so it's not actually. ClickBank doesn't have a minimum of fifty percent. They don't. So we're doing twenty-five percent right now. Um, actually, you know what? Yeah, we're doing twenty-five percent right now. So fifty bucks on the two hundred dollar product. Um, but we also want to try to motivate you guys to to share this opportunity with as many people as possible. So we're going to give you fifty dollars for the first person you bring in, and we're going to give you another fifty dollars for the second person that you bring in. But we want to make sure you guys really get more than two people in here. And so I'm going with the three is the charm. I mean, we know three is a magic number. I love the fact that I live in apartment 333. It's the perfect number. It's a very uh, Anybody who knows numerology knows that three is a very um, auspicious number, very important number. Um, so we're going to go with the three, like thirds the charm approach to this affiliate marketing program. Um, and we could, I could go into all the things that exist out there with trees, go, like with threes and trios and things like that. I mean, it's the holy trinity. It's try out of change. It's a lot of things exist in the world of threes. So when you get your third person, when you refer your third affiliate, we're going to up your affiliate commission from $50 to $100. So you're going to get that 50% commission that Vic was asking about after your third <laughs> referral. Now your fourth referral is also going to be $100. So from the third on, your referral kickback goes up to 50%. So it's not out yet. It's going to be out hopefully tomorrow. If you go to marketingonline.com front slash HMS affiliate and register as an affiliate, you will get the email before anybody else knows announcing that the affiliate program is in place. In the email will be your affiliate link. All you have to do is start sharing it. So hopefully that will go out tomorrow assuming I can work the magic behind the scenes with all things that need to work behind the scenes. But this is, this is, so I want to know, and I want an honest answer, and we're going to just go across the board through the bottom, and this is going to be kind of final word for today's Hangout is, and it's not final word, it's kind of I want to know honestly from you, do, can you, do you feel you can right here, right now, on this Hangout, publicly in front of all other members, commit to finding and getting three people to pay for hang, Hangout Marketing Secrets, I'm going to just go to left or right, and I want an honest answer. Be honest. Tell me yes, no, and if so, like, say that. I commit to, make, to getting three people to sign up, or I don't feel I can. Either way, I want to know why. So, Dr. Allen, you're going to be up first. Terrific. Can I ask one question before I answer? Yes, you may. Good deal. Is there some, and once you sign up for the affiliate program, is there some kind of introductory video or something that we're going to have access to or some type of promotional piece that we're going to be able to use to market it? We will, we will, we're going to, it's going to take folks, the link for the, the, the thing is actually going to take them um, either to this page here, which there is an auto start video that talks about it, or it's going to take you to this page, which tells you everything you need to know about it. So either okay. way, the, the link you give them is going to take them to a page that has a video that introduces them to it. Okay, I'm going to um, commit in publicly on this Hangout to 20 people. 20 people? Yep. Okay, excellent. Good mark, job, Dr. Allen. Mark that down, guys. Okay, Dr. Allen committing to 20. Elena, how about you? What, can you? what do you feel you honestly can commit to? I commit to minimum three and hopefully more. The rest will be bonus. Excellent. So good, excellent. Glad to hear that. Thank you. Robert, how about you? Um, well, I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of with Dr. Allen. I want to see kind of what the what the materials are that we can show to people. But I think this is a really easy conversation to get into. I think there's so many people out there who are aware of Hangouts but really don't know their way around. And for two hundred dollars, it's a really compelling offer to learn about Hangouts and learn how to use it for their business. So 
Uh, I'm going with the number five. I'm not going, uh, I'm going to chase Dr. Allen on this one, but I think it'll be a piece of cake to get five people to raise their hand. And uh, I wouldn't mind, you know, an extra 400 bucks in my pocket, so it's all good. Sweet. Nicely done. All right, Sharon, how about you? You can put up fingers or a thumbs up or let us know what you feel like you can commit to. You're going to commit to three. Excellent. Thank you, Sharon. Appreciate that. That's awesome. Now remember, in order to be able to get the email and access to it and get your link, you got to make sure you go to marketingonline.com front slash, front slash HMS affiliate. It's in the chat. I'll, I'll put it in the box of, um, of this page as well. So Tom, how about you? What do you feel you can commit to? I'm going to commit to seven. All right, we've got Tom committing to seven. So we've got three, three, five, seven, twenty. Uh, and how about you, Vic? Victor? What do you got? Who's still muted? Well, right. you know, I'm still here. Uh, I have a list that I could send this to of about forty thousand, but I don't know what's going to happen when uh, you know we actually send out the offer. So uh, it really matters uh, how well it converts in initial testing. But I'd say ten. Okay. Yeah, yeah and, I, and that's part of it is, I mean, <laughs> we, we don't know how well it's going to convert either because we haven't tried yet. <laughs> um, but so I pre, and, and you know what, I love that. I love that you brought that up is that you're committing to, you have a goal of 10, but you also get that a lot of the ability to convert folks is somewhat right. out of your control. I mean, I could do 30. I would say 30 because um, in the other product that you and I had lunch about, I've gotten 30 safely inside of that product with the test group. But the conversion numbers have been lower than I'm used to in other things that I've promoted. So I think that this would actually convert better than that, so I'll say 30. Okay. I think, you're, I think it'll convert better than that as well. I, <laughs> I agree with you on that. Um, awesome. And I'm, I, I'm, I'm committing to there being 200 people register because as the affiliate manager, that's actually more important for my job is to get 200 people. Like my job is to get all of you and anybody else who's an affiliate to be successful with this, so it's more important that you guys are successful. So I, my commitment is 200 <laughs> total, not and my my personal affiliate numbers are less important um, because this that as an affiliate manager I have to have a different approach. I have to have a different mentality, um, and it's important for you guys to know that that that's a there's a big, big distinct. I'm an affiliate in a lot of areas, but as an affiliate manager, my commitment is to support you guys and not as much about my own personal success numbers. So. Um, making you successful, it makes me successful as the affiliate manager. So that's why you're going to get the email with the link, you're going to get some social media posts, you're going to get stuff that's going to help you share this and the pages they land to are going to be optimized with the videos so people learn and all those other things. We're going to have that stuff in place for you. Um, so you guys know that that's, and so we're going to take care, uh, my job is to make sure you have what you need. So when that email goes out, if it's like, hey, I need an email to go with this and it's not included or you don't like the one that I include or whatever it is, you get you send me back an email immediately and I will help you be successful in whatever it is that you need to be successful. Even if it's we do a public hangout where we announce the launch of this product and everybody gets to come in and talk about it and then you can use that video as your marketing tool. Whatever works for you guys, I'm happy to do it. That's what I'm committing to. So go ahead, Vic. I know you had a question. You read my mind. That's what I was going to suggest. I said, let's do a hangout. I'll pitch your product after I've looked at it and you could say, oh yeah, here's what Vic said about the product. And uh, you know, so I'm kind of leveraging an ebook that's actually going to Amazon. Uh, I just got a publisher. I'm really excited. It's going to going out on Amazon on October. So I'm announcing my ebook is going into like print and all this kind of stuff in October. And while people are waiting for that, it's on video blogging. I could say, hey, you guys need to start hanging out because Hangouts rank better in YouTube than uploading videos. Yeah, I think, was that you told me that or someone else told me that? But I, I confirm that that's like a fact now. Yeah, that a, a, a video posted from a Hangout does better in YouTube than you just recording a video exactly. and uploading it to YouTube. <laughs> yeah, so, exactly. If nothing else, all of your videos that you're, like if I'm doing a talking head video where I'm sitting here in front of my, my black curtain talking <laughs> about a product or anything like that, I should automatically do it through a Hangout and upload it that way. It's going to get better pull. Exactly. Um, so, so that this could work. Sharon wants to do a short survey where it could actually call. Well, actually, what's interesting, Sharon, is in the in the product. And let me go ahead and and do a screen share. You can actually kind of steal some of our product to help you. In here, we actually give an assessment as part of the pre-training. That is a survey to help people kind of think about what's important and what they need for Google Hangout. 
and it's a big long co so so if nothing else you could just instead of marketing the product you could just market them to say hey if you guys want to know about this click on this link and take this really detailed long survey called the assessment under step one to see if hangouts are right for you and they're still going to be tracked as you under the assessment so we've got your survey done for you Sharon you're good we got we, we got you covered so um, this is so this is where kind of the benefits are this is all the things we've got in place so I appreciate you guys being on the hangout I love talking about hangouts because I really I, I wholeheartedly believe in this product I think it is it, it, we joke sometimes about it's the greatest thing since sliced bread, but really this is up there is one of the greatest things since sliced bread. If you want, if if you want to do video marketing, if you want to get your message out, if you want to be able to talk to people live, and if you want to get the power of two of the three biggest search engines behind you, to me it's complete no brainer. It's stupid easy um, to talk about this product with everybody, and um, so. I appreciate you guys being here. Any last questions before we wrap up? Because I do love to keep these members hangouts to exactly an hour and we're a minute over. So last Just with the product, Sean, um, when you're having the Q&A session with each of the, uh, the guests, will the audience be able to interact and ask questions through an event? I believe there is going to be a Google chat feature so people can at comment there. I don't believe they're going to be live hangouts where you'll have a bunch of people in as as images below, but there will be a way to interact, um, and and I believe it's through Google Chat, but I'm not a thousand percent sure on that. Okay. So I'm ninety eight percent, but I don't want to you know box myself into a corner and say absolutely, and then not be able to deliver it. I'm not a hundred percent sure on that. Um, that is a question for our developers, and I can fi I can find out. But that's my understanding of the direction we're going with it. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, no Sean, worries. I just I just want to add that I think the timing of this is really awesome because uh, so many of the bugs of Google Hangouts have been worked out. It's working so much more smoothly. I think people have kind of heard about it, but so many people aren't familiar. So I think the timing of this is is really perfect. I'm, yeah. I'm thrilled. And I want to build off something Elena said a long time ago in this Hangout where um, Google doesn't change as often as quickly as Facebook, and that's true. Facebook is going through another change today. Any, I've personal, I never buy any product that's related to Facebook for the simple fact of um, by the time I learn how to use it and start implementing it, Facebook's going to change some policy. <laughs> that's true. Where Google wants you using it, they want you taking advantage of Hangouts, and Google has a policy of not changing. They change once a year before their developers conference, and they spend the year analyzing, tech, checking, testing, making sure everything works, unless there's a serious bug they have to address. But they're not changing how the interface and all of these other things, the way face. I mean, Mark Zuckerberg has a bad Thai dinner, Facebook looks completely different the next day. I mean, it's, it's, sorry, Mark, I shouldn't pick on you, but, because um, you know everything you need to know about me to ruin my life, but, um, <laughs> but. You know he's watching, you know he's watching this hangout. He's watching this hangout, sure, yeah, right. <laughs> but, but it's, but it's, the, the idea. No, Mark's is, cool. I'm, I'm it's, a, yeah, he is cool, and it, he's brilliant, and, and I, I get it. it I, and a lot of the changes they make make sense, but it's it can be frustrating as a marketer and as somebody who tries to do a consistent job in a consistent area. It's hard when they keep changing interface and keep changing the way things look and keep changing what you can and can't do. So that's especially why I love Google. So I'm glad you brought that up, Robert, because it is super user friendly. And they did make significant changes that changed a lot of bugs, made it a lot easier to do Hangouts now. Um, I'm a huge fan. Can I ask one question before we go? Is the username that you use in ClickBank the same as your affiliate name? Your your username your yes your the, the the your username whatever it is that you use to log into ClickBank is the okay. same thing as your affiliate name. Um, okay. That's all the same thing. They they, okay. they if have it a, turned out if it turned out that I've been involved as an affiliate for marketing online without the right correct name without using my correct name. Of course, I thought it was something else, which I just realized it wasn't. Can I re-sign up as an affiliate in marketing online? Yes, you can. Cool. Absolutely, and you'll get access to the affiliate center with the new, with the correctly coded affiliate codes and everything like that. Um, and you can just restart using that. And I can go in and 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 I have access to that too, so I can go ahead and re-sign up, and I can get rid of your old land, yeah. If you okay, want. that's perfect. That's All terrific. Right. Sean, this video today, is that going to be uh, available for public view, or is this uh, just a private video? You know, that is an absolutely fantabulous question. Usually these members of Hangout are, consider are unlisted because they are members-only content. 
Um, I'm there's a part of me that is going to say that it's staying as members only, just because I've made that offer of VIP access and free access, um, and it's really only designed for members. I, I'm getting the impression that it seems like this similar conversation without that offer, but talking about the benefits of Hangouts and Hangout Marketing Secrets and everything would be beneficial if it, we, that existed without that content. Is that pretty accurate? Well, I, I actually was thinking that the content about the offer and about the conversation, how we developed the price and how we were discussing it and all of our perspectives on it would be great for a blog post. So, and so, we could send that out to our list pretty easily with an affiliate link right below it. So let me do this. Let me... Not YouTube, but you could just download it. Like, there's a way of uploading it to YouTube, right. downloading it as an MP4, slicing up the piece that you want, then sending it to us. And that's what I'm going to commit to. Is, <laughs> what I'll do is I will... I will this, this Hangout, exactly in its pure form, is not going to be publicly available. I will somehow have fun with the editing and cut out me talking about how to get this product for free. Yeah, yeah. I might I might still keep that piece in there and saying, hey, as a member of Marketing Online, you get this benefit, and then I can chop the audio out and put up a thing that says this information enclosed in during this section is right. members only, and you don't have access to it unless you're a member of Marketing Online, and then kick back up and say, you know, and now that you guys have free access, because then I can use it as Marketing Marketing Online as well. So let me play with that, edit it a little bit, tweak it a little bit, and the bulk of this conversation, the bulk of this hangout, where that meat and potatoes of everything we've talked about that will be created as a video and I will post that and I know everybody who is on here, I know who you all are. Um, I can send out an email to you all and just say, hey guys, here's the video, the edited video that you can use. And I might actually include this in the affiliate marketing section. I, I'll, I'll, I may even take little chunks of it and out and figure out how to build this into the affiliate center. Give, let me play with that and think about that. But I, I hear that and I agree with you and I will see what I can do with that. I have another great idea. I'm in the middle of doing a product launch. So wouldn't it be interesting if we did a Google Hangout with some of my friends and some of your friends and we demonstrated how a product got launched using Google Hangout, using your training? Done. In. I'm all in. Okay. I'm 100% in. <laughs> you and I will we'll come up with a time to do a Hangout. We'll do the Hangout talking about the product launch, rolling the product launch out, explaining your product, and then we can use that to talk about how we just used Hangouts to... Exactly. We can make it a product launch hangout, and then we can, at the end or in a new hangout, debrief on that hangout about how a hangout was used to be able to. So exactly. I, got, I saw your email today. I just haven't had a chance to respond to you. Um, I don't know what your, what your tomorrow and Thursday look like, but I, um, let's, let's talk tomorrow, and let's make this, let's do this as quickly as, like, let's do that this week. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Uh, so, Wednesday, Wednesday's uh, tomorrow, right? Yes. <laughs> uh, I'm going up to Santa Rosa because I'm speaking for a, a, a networking group, and then I'm doing. Uh, Dr. Allen was in my webinar last week. We have a webinar every week at uh, 3 p.m. Pacific time, 6 p.m. Eastern time. So if you want to join on that, that would be great. Does that work for you? Send, shoot me off the the info, and I'll I'll take a look and I'll get back to you. Okay, sounds good. Um, yeah, I don't know if it'll work. For, I'll be honest and say I don't know if it's going to work for me, but I would love to. Um, send me the email of the exact time and how to get in, and if I can force it into my calendar, I absolutely will. Okay. Uh, I might just have to move one or two things, but we'll make that happen. Great. Awesome. That, yeah, and then we can yeah, and then we can debrief that afterwards as why this works as a, a product launch. Sounds good. Awesome. This is fantastic. I want to appreciate. I want to. I want to appreciate. I want to say how much I appreciate all you guys being here. I always love these hangouts. This is awesome. Yes, Tom. We know it's Wednesday for you. Um, <laughs> your little other side of the planet boy. Um, we'll make this happen, Victor. I appreciate you guys. I'll, I'll figure out some way to tweak this video so it could be something you could share with folks so they get an idea of all, all the pieces with the you get it for free removed. Um, and then we'll go from there. So I appreciate you guys, and I will um, talk oh. with you guys all soon. And hi, uh, live long and prosper. <laughs> hey, yeah. The new Star Trek, awesome. Really well done film. Bye, Lori. Um, <laughs> I love that movie. They did a phenomenal job with the new Star Trek. I just since you did the Live Long and Prosper, I think. Yes, that's, I, I'm totally into Star Trek, and I love the Star Trek game. And uh, Star Trek Online is amazing. Yeah. The they've post done, they, they, amazing. They've really changed the the the. They've reinvented that that whole platform. That whole franchise is just. Yeah. 
Fantastic. All right. Well, now we've completely gone off the rails. So I'm going to end the <laughs> broadcast, everybody. I appreciate you all being here. Thanks Take so much. Care. Shoot me off emails if you have questions. Keep an eye out for your email um, about the Affiliate Center once I have it finished, built, and ready to go. And peace out, homies. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.